Welcome to this Palms demonstration video on how to make your own sundial. This is the second in a series of three videos, each showing how to make a different type. This video will show you how to make a T-bar sundial and try and find out how accurate they are. Sundials have been used since ancient times to show the passing hours of a day. There were paintings of T-bar sundials on the walls of Egyptian pyramids and one made from rock has been found. They are easy to carry around which made them useful for travellers such as sailors too. But before we start, a couple of safety notes. Don't forget to protect yourself from the sun when working outside with a hat and sunscreen and never stare directly at the sun. T-bar sundials are named this because they are in the shape of the letter T. The top of the T casts a shadow along the bar which is marked with the hours of the day. It's different from other sundials as it's designed to be portable and has to be used in the opposite direction in the morning and the afternoon. To make a T-bar sundial, you will need thick paper or card, a ruler, scissors, masking tape or sticky tape, a pencil or chalk, a compass or phone compass app, and a clock or watch. To make your sundial, measure and cut out two rectangular pieces of cardboard. One will be 5 cm by 20 cm and the second will be 5 cm by 15 cm. You might like to get an adult to help you with this. Next, stick the 15 cm piece to one end of the 20 cm piece with glue or tape. The full width of the 15 cm piece should overlap the end of the 20 cm piece. Make sure it's placed so there's an even overhang on each side. Bend the 20 cm piece of card up at a 90 degree angle and secure it in position with some tape. Your T-bar sundial is almost complete. Take your T-bar sundial out into the sun with your compass or phone with the compass app. Line up the longer piece of the T with the east-west direction. Before midday, the short upright part of the T should be at the eastern end. Mark where the shadow reaches and record the time. After midday, the T-bar sundial needs to be turned in the other direction. The upright part should now be at the western end. Mark where the shadow reaches and record the time. Try and record as many hours as possible when the sun is shining. Do you think the shadow will be in the same place if you tried this in a week at exactly the same time? What about in a month? Find out more by using your T-bar sundial frequently. Perhaps you can research how ancient Egyptians and sailors use this technique. Thanks for watching this Palms video. Don't forget to watch the next one to make the third kind of sundial. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit the Palms website, palms.edu.au.